So have you seen the changes that Microsoft announced last week on Microsoft certifications? A lot of people is really upset about them. We are going to talk in this video about what the changes are and how they affect you, especially if you are taking a certification or an exam or if you are planning to do that. Okay, so make sure that you watch this video so you know what's going on and things that you can do moving forward. So this is what is going on, basically. They announced last week that they are retiring 15 certifications and 44 exams. For us that work with data, the ones that we would be upset about are the BI reporting, the, all the SQL certifications are gone, and then you have here Power BI and Microsoft Excel exams are gone. So if you are planning to take those exams, do it now. When are they retiring these? They're retiring June 30, 2020. That is super soon. This should have given more time for people to actually finish both their exams and their certifications. I think that is way, way, way too soon. So what's going on? What they are doing is they are moving from technology certifications to role-based certifications. From what I understand is that instead of getting an exam or a certification for a specific technology like SQL, they have created role-based exams. So you have infrastructure, productivity, um, you have data management, that, that would be for us data uh, analyst, data people, app builder, and then business applications. I think this is Power Apps and Flow. So if you want to take, now you would take instead of SQL exam, you have a data management analytics certification path and you have different exams in there. Um, is it good or bad? Uh, I think there should be a place for both because I always feel that people that have an expertise, a deep expertise on something, often get punished for that. That, you know, going too deep into the rabbit hole somehow. And having deep knowledge of something in society is always and often not very popular and not very rewarding. You don't get promotions for being like super good at just one thing, which I think is a pity. I think you should be able to do that. You should be able to work on a lot of things or just going very, very deep into something. And I'm a lot of people is upset just for that reason, you know, that they would like to have a possibility to demonstrate their expertise in a specific technology that they absolutely love. So what is going on? Um, if you have the certifications, if you're already taking the certifications, this is what you can do. They will continue to be valid for two years. So after June 30, you still have two years where those certifications are still valid. Okay, so that's no problem. But if you're in the process of taking the certification, and some of the exams are being retired, you need to take those exams before before they get retired on June 30th. So you don't have a lot of time if you have a lot of exams to take. And I think that's where a little bit of disconnect has happened. It is too short time to have just a few months. So if you are planning to take the certification, you need to really, really think about it deep. Will I make it on time to create, make those exams? So I don't know, it is a bit too fast. So. A lot of things, there's a, re a lot of people is really upset about this is the SQL Server um, certifications that are gone. You won't be able to be SQL certified anymore. And I can see why this is a, you know, <laughs> a punch in the gut for, for a lot of people that are really good at SQL. They love it, they truly love it, and now they have no way to prove that they are experts on it. Another thing, this is something that affects me, for example, is uh, the to, to be a Microsoft partner for Power BI, I was thinking actually to to finally do that uh, to to make Kerbal a Power BI partner, and for that they forced you to take this exam, analyzing and visualizing data. So I said, okay, I'll take it. Before I knew that they were retiring the exam. Thankfully, I haven't started, so for me it has not been any issue. So. If you're a partner and you see that the certifications that you need are going to be retired, what do you need to do? They say that new exams and certifications will be available in March 2020, so wait for it, okay? I will definitely wait. I'm not going to take an old exam. 
Um, and we'll see, depending on what they are requiring, I'll do it or not. So you need, if you're a partner, you need to take that into consideration. Okay, so let me know your thoughts about the certifications, the new role certifications. Let me know how that affects you. If you have any suggestions for people that are taking the exam or not, um, well, let's have a discussion and see uh, how we all move forward with this because I'm guessing that it affects a lot of people. So this is all for today for me. I hope that this video was useful and informative and it'll help you take a decision on what to do next if you are planning to take any of the exams or certifications that Microsoft offers. I will see you again on Wednesday as always. So if you like the video, subscribe and like, and I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye-bye.